Oh, well, we're going to New York this weekend. Oh, I'm so excited. We're going to... We're going to another, co- another thing I'm fucking angry at you about. I Which mean, is, I'm like, I'm grateful that you got me the job and I'm grateful that we're, we're going and that's fun. But why do you fucking go at two in the morning? Bro, you're being a very... Very Bitchy, mean. bitch, mean. <laughs> um, so we're going to Coachella this Sunday, right? Uh, we're going to Coachella this Thursday, Friday, Saturday, yeah, and then Saturday night at two forty. So if you want to rob our houses at two forty five, this would be the time. Yeah, if you. <laughs> <laughs> There's gonna be someone here. But if you want to rob the house, we're gonna leave the door open. Get ready for my six foot eight friend Julio. <laughs> yeah, I love how, who's yeah. an ultimate fighter. That's so funny. Yeah, I guess we shouldn't tell people we're leaving the house. I mean, I have nothing to steal here. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one with the nice house. Uh, well, guess what? You don't have anything to steal either, really. I don't have anything. You, you can break into my... Don't, don't break into my house. <laughs> I'm the fuck this conversation. Guys, seriously, don't break into David's house. No, don't break into anybody's house, please. It's the <laughs> shittiest thing to do. And like, it's so shitty. So shitty. Yeah. Uh, okay. Anyway, we're going Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We're going to do the whole Coachella thing. We're going to some mm-hmm. parties. Yeah. I don't, I don't know what to, I'm, I'm What kinda, are you going to do? Okay. I, I know you're going, and I don't you know you don't like Coachella. I have so many calls to answer. Like what? I Like I, this this whole, like, I, I've just been, I've never been on the phone as much as I have been. I, I, I answered maybe. Yeah, but like, what are you going to get done at Coachella? I'll just be on my phone on answering some calls. There's no service there. Really? You no. Know. You're not going to be on the phone at the you're festival. Right, you're right, you're right. I don't know. But, I, but I mean, hopefully you won't be actually be at the festival that much. You'll just be like by the pool. Yeah. No, I want to be, um, I just want to, I just want to be at the house. I just want to hang out. Yeah. And film. The, the festival is a little intense. If you guys have ever been to Coachella, it's like, it's, it's, it's an overdose of excitement. Tell them about it. Tell them how awful it is. I mean, it's it, just it's, walking in is really hard. We're, we're Jason and I like. We don't like Coachella, but there's people that fucking die for it, obviously. I like it, but it's, it doesn't have to be three days. Like, one day is good. Oh, my God, dude. That's so right. Why is it so long? Oh, my God. You get to Sunday, and you're like, is this still going on? Yeah. Are we still? Sun- and the F- Molly F- did, doesn't work anymore. You yeah. know what I mean? After three days. Yeah, the Molly's broken after the third day. I don't understand. It's, it's just, it's, it's also kind of scary. Like, I don't find it scary. Yeah, but with everything going on. It's like, oh well, Trisha brought that up. She's like, "Well, I hope no one shoots us." Yeah, Coachella's like fucking like a very scary place. It's scary. You it's, can't get a gun in there though. Well, that's what they fucking say about everything, right? I don't know. I don't know how that works. I always, I always believe if someone wants to get anything into anywhere, they'll get it done. Do you know what I mean? Like I, yeah, I, like I don't like even if even airports. Like I don't know. I feel like there's ways around everything. Yeah. What did you have any fun last year when you went to Coachella? Yeah. What was? Yeah. Let's pivot that conversation. <laughs> Why you didn't have fun? Um. No. 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 Um. No. I. I had fun. I had fun. But it's. It's just so much because you get there. So. So everyone. What. What. What happens at Coachella is you wake up around like ten. Mm-hmm. They start drinking. They start taking shots. Mm-hmm. They. This is my least favorite part: is they turn on the speakers <laughs> in the house. Yeah, yeah. They have yeah. these like little portable speakers, <laughs> and they get them going. And it's really early, and it, and it, they're already bumping. And it's fucking ten thirty a.m. And it's like it's Zed and Martin Garrix. You're already fucking like you're already at Coachella. <laughs> and, and then and then you Uber right, over that kind of music, Martin yeah. Garrix. <laughs> and then it's and then it's uh, then you have to Uber over there, and the Uber's like eighty dollars because Ubers are like yeah. fucking so much money. At they Coachella. can only bring you so close yeah and they can't bring you all the way into Coachella so then you have to walk another mile to get into Coachella and then you have to walk another half mile when you find out that your wristband is only letting in on the other side uh, and, then, and then you get in you go through this fucking high end security which thank god for that and then uh, and it, it's like the really good bands come on at a, like 11pm so if you want to see someone at 4pm oh, you're out there for 8 hours it's so interesting because when you walk into Coachella um, like, like we would have the, f- like a fair in Vernon Hills, we'd have a fair and there'd be a con, <laughs> there'd be like, are you comparing Vernon Hills days to Coachella? <laughs> yeah. So we'd have, we'd have like a little stage where a, where a band would perform, right? Yeah. Just like Coachella. <laughs> yeah. But there were, there were rides, there were rides everywhere. Yeah. So when you walked in, you weren't like, like you were, you were, the music was there, but then you had something to do. You had the rides. Right. And you had all these games. Right. But when you walk into Coachella, it's like, oh shit, it's just the music. Like yeah, that's, that's all it is. Oh yeah, pretty much. But, like there isn't like a game. Buy a shirt. There isn't like a like a water slide. Do you know what I mean? We like, have to e- take Molly. That's like basically what. <laughs> even Bonnaroo. Like at, I went to Bonnaroo. And hey, what was and that like? They have water slides. They have oh, like they, they have like crazy shit like that. Like games you can play. But like Coachella is just it's just the music and it's like it's just it's so insane because and the worst part is 
you get in your Uber, right? You have the portable speaker in your house. You get in the Uber and your friends, you're fucking some fucking asshole in the backseat of the Uber goes, yo, man, you have an aux cord? <laughs> <laughs> the fucking, I hate when someone asks for an I aux hate cord. That. And I cross my fingers. I'm like, please, Uber driver, please <laughs> tell him you don't have an aux cord. And he goes, of course, brother. <laughs> yes, I have an aux cord. And then he gives him the fucking aux cord. And then now we're bumping music to Coachella. And this remember how I was telling you how it takes like a mile to get to the Uber drop off to Coachella? This is the worst part. There's these people that pick you up on bikes. And you can either walk the mile or these people pick you up and you pay them like $50 to get you to Coachella. And the worst part about these people is they have these mini portable speakers attached (laughs) to their bicycles. And they're playing some funky ass copyright free music (laughs) all the way down to the gates. So you can't escape. You can't escape the music. It's music, music, music. Music, music, music. And then last year, this is what happened. It was like 11 o'clock. It was like 11 o'clock. The music was over. Uh, Guys, don't get me wrong. I love music, but too much of it. It hurts my head it was 11 o'clock music was over we needed a ride back to get to our place and i'm like i don't care dude i'll walk i'll walk five miles let's just start walking let's get out of here you can't get out of there there's you can't get an uber if you go to the uber tent it's too full so you have to walk you have three to walk. miles out of there you have to walk far out to, yeah to, to find a, an uber so I, I i said i'm like guys i don't care I, 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 let's just let's just get out of here it's fine i'm totally cool with walking we can walk as far as we can and and one of our friends came up and he goes guys I just got us a fucking party bus. <laughs> and fucking all of us got on this party bus and and music blasting again at eleven PM. <laughs> this was this party bus was there to drive us to the next party because the after party started at like one at Coachella. So the the party bus took us from Coachella to the after party yep. where it continued. It is non Where we had to wait in line again to get on another bus Bro. to take us to the party. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then when you get to the party, you have to hop on another bus because all the parties are in secret locations. So you have to be shuttled there, basically blindfolded. And it's 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 so insane. It's so much, and it's that's so three much days going on. That. Yeah, and it's three days. And, and I sound like I'm 80 years old and I hate yeah. it, but it's just – it, it's it's too much to keep up with. Like it just like you just feel like where that where am I? One year we went with my group of friends and um we had a guy we paid a guy to pick us up and we got there and um someone had just taken it someone had just said they were us and just took our fucking that's what ride. that's what we did last year remember yeah we found a woman mm-hmm. and we got we found an oh, Uber yeah remember her yeah we found an Uber she was great. And she said to call her this year too. We should call her this year. Yeah. And she. You guys tried to set me up with her. Yeah, we tried to get Jason a date. Liza, her. Liza was going like, I think she was like dead serious. This is like Liza who has like good ideas and a solid head on her shoulders. She was yeah. like, I think you guys could date. Yeah. I really do. It's not that far. It's two and a half hours. It's not a big deal. Well, <laughs> yeah, long distance relationships Liza, here on the weekends. Liza was trying to set up Jason and this Uber driver, and um, and she was yeah she was great she picked us up and we paid her we just we just gave her cash every time but she was always there because we can call her and she wasn't answering anybody else's Ubers that's the way to do it did when you, you go to did you text Liza and tell her to tell me that she's sad that I'm not going to Coachella or did Liza on her own volition text me and say she was sad that I wasn't going to Coachella be it, honest it's none of your business you fucking asshole I knew it <laughs> I knew the minute she texted I was like. She didn't fucking care about me. That's David. That's David talking to one of his puppets. It was. It was Liza. It was. Yeah. Okay. Uh, she called me. She called me. Um, she called me. She's yesterday. like, Jason's got to be around for your vlog. <laughs> she, I better text him. She called me uh, today, and she's like, uh, David, I'm so, I'm so mad that you're leaving uh, Coachella for Sunday. And I'm like, Yeah, I know it sucks. And she's like, Yeah, and you're taking Jason with. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, that's nice. And I'm like, What? What about me? I'm um, so glad that we have to go to the shorties. Yeah. So Gives we such a good reason. So we get to leave Saturday night. Let's go to the shorties on Saturday. No, 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 no. Come on, bro. We get to leave Saturday night. Let's go to the- and then we go to New York and we get back Monday morning.